If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Welcome to News Watch. The Wolf Administration has uh, some tips and uh, information for you to avoid those tax scams. As we're approaching the deadline of April 15th, that's the deadline for state and federal taxes. The Department of Revenue today partnered with the IRS and the Pennsylvania Institute of Pennsylvania Certified Public Accountants to offer useful filing tips and guidance to help Pennsylvanians avoid falling victim to common tax scams. Last year saw approximately 2.7 million taxpayers file their Pennsylvania tax returns in the final month before the filing deadline, said Revenue Secretary Dan Hassel, whose department annually processes more than six million personal income tax returns. Now, um, how, and here's some of the tips that they gave how to avoid the common tax filing mistakes. Okay, Jason Sinek, he is a CPA, state and local tax practice leader, and a member of the PICPA, he encourages taxpayers to avoid common mistakes by setting aside plenty of time to file state and federal returns. This allows time to verify the returns are correct before submitted. He encourages Pennsylvania to use the tax season as an opportunity to take a closer look at security safeguards to um, be in place uh, to protect their data from sensitive uh, and their personal sensitive information from those who can try to hack it. This is a great time to change passwords and to take a closer look at security precautions. Remember, identity theft is a big thing, and um, they caution you. So make sure that you're aware that that tax deadline is approaching, and uh, you're going to want to give yourself plenty of time. Don't wait till the last minute. We'll be right back after we hear from these great sponsors. Who would like to hear from you? NC TV 45 Newcastle, The Train. Today's program was provided through funding from Coney Island, Coney Island Downtown in downtown Newcastle, a Newcastle tradition. Newswatch rolling on, giving you the information that you need to get through this busy time of the year. Yes, um, 
and it is busy, but maybe you need to come and play. A good game of cornhole would surely whisk away those winter blues. And this is sponsored by Rotary 89, local and international humanitarian efforts. The cost is $30 per person if you register before March 20th. $40 at the door. There's a $20 entrance fee. And the prize for first place is one fifty, second dollars $100. If you come in second place, the tournament will be a round-robin elimination. They'll have prizes, games, just about everything that you want to hear about. And that's going on on the 23rd of this great month of March. And uh, go play a little cornhole. Now, you're probably going to say, well, who do I contact? Justin Holmes. Now, he's up at the YMCA. So, uh, 